morning haze, mist, fog, all those little particles can literally make a huge difference in the pictures we're gonna get if we go out to take amazing landscape photos. But sometimes even if we wake up in the middle of the night to reach our location early in the morning to capture that beautiful morning mist, the nature can play some nasty tricks to us and then we are not able to capture the picture how we would like to capture it with nice morning mist or haze. Ideally you want to wake up the next day and try it again but I understand that sometimes that's not really possible and there is a solution for this problem and you're actually seeing right now because I'm using this uh, filter that can create pretty nice haze and smoke around me but in reality the air it's pretty clean Let's talk about it. This type of filter is uh, pretty well known for us filmmakers and videographers because it can literally optimize the production of a shooting because sometimes you cannot really use a lot of AIDS machine to smoke a valley to make it more dramatic. So this filter is extremely helpful both for filmmakers and photographers. And no, there is no way I'm talking about the Black Promist one more time. In today's video I'm talking about the smoke filter that is also made by Tiffen. This filter is different than the Black Promist because the Black Promist tends to give glow in the highlights while the smoke filter tends to embrace the subjects you are taking photos or filming to give that effect of smoke that is in the air. And it's not that one filter is better than the other, they just have different applications where you want to use them. You can actually stack them together to intensify the effect of mist and smoke when using them together. And, but that can be a little bit extreme. So I consider that the smoke filter is uh, ideal for have the effect of haze or morning uh, mist that you want in your uh, landscape photography picture or in some uh, filmmaking uh, scenes. But let me show you how they compare next to each other so you have a better idea what we are talking about. So now we are having a look at the black promist with the intensity of a quarter. This is the black promist with the intensity of a quarter plus the smoke filter one. And now we're gonna do a test without the filter in front of the lens to see how the location looks like. And now I'm gonna place the smoke filter one in front of the lens to have a comparison between no filter and with the filter. Filter on, no filter. And one more time, filter on and no filter. As we can see, the difference is pretty huge. But like all the photography and filmmaking things, nothing is perfect and this filter is not perfect as well because there are some drawbacks you have to consider before you even think to use it. For example, I mostly use it for landscape photography because I love the effect of mist and fog in my landscape photos. But for filmmaking, it's a little bit more complex because you have to be extremely careful from any source of light you have in your scene. And this filter is working extremely well if you have a light source coming from 90 degrees up to 30 degrees, let's say from the side of the camera, and it should be uh, perpendicular or pretty much angled coming from uh, top. So if you have uh, the light source hitting your front element of the camera, this uh, filter can literally destroy the images you're gonna capture. So keep that in mind. Before you start to think to use this filter for serious jobs, first try it and play with it a bit so you can understand the limitation of this filter. Because if you plan to use it for a landscape shot but the sun is gonna be parallel to the object you want to frame, then this filter is not gonna work. So at the end of the day, if you are also lover of uh, mist and fog in your landscape photos, I think this is a great filter to consider to add in your kit because it can literally change the look of your photos. For example, a few weeks ago, I went with my friend Charlie to take some nice landscape photos in a beautiful forest here in the Netherlands. But sadly, there was no mist or haze in the location we went, even if we went pretty early in the morning. So this filter is extremely versatile because it can literally save uh, your uh, landscape photography session if you don't have mist or haze 
where you go. All in all, I'm extremely happy with this filter. I think I bought it around six or seven months ago, but I started to use it just recently, mostly for landscape photography, because I really love that little touch of amazingness that I can add with this filter without uh, having the need to use uh, Photoshop or other editing software. And I also love to use it for filmmaking, but I don't use it that much because uh, the filter is a little bit tricky and you have to control every source of light you have uh, on the location. But I understand this filter is extremely helpful if you don't want to use an ACE machine for filmmaking. But let me know in the comment below what do you think about the images and the footage I shared with you. In my opinion, the filter is working pretty well, but I'm curious to know your opinion. So this is it for today guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one, ciao!